Attention all Social Security, SSDI, and SSI recipients. Get ready to celebrate because a groundbreaking bill has just been announced. And it's about to bring some incredible news your way. In a move that will positively impact millions of Americans, a jaw-dropping $2,400 increase in Social Security benefits is on the horizon for each and every one of you. Imagine the possibilities that this significant boost could bring to your life. Whether you're a retiree relying on Social Security for your daily expenses, a disabled individual receiving SSDI, or someone in need of SSI support, this game-changing bill is set to provide a much-needed financial relief. Join us as we delve into the details of this remarkable legislation, exploring how it will transform the lives of countless individuals and families across the nation. We'll uncover the reasons behind this historic increase, the impact it will have on your monthly income, and the potential ripple effects it could create in our society. But that's not all. We'll also dive into the broader implications of this bill, discussing the long-term sustainability of Social Security and the steps being taken to ensure its stability for future generations. This is a momentous occasion that demands our attention and understanding, as it sets a precedent for the future of social welfare programs. Welcome to Social Security, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and Social Security. In recent months, inflation has consistently decreased since June 2022. As a result, major Wall Street firms no longer anticipate a recession this year due to higher interest rates. Stock indexes have reached levels not seen in over a year. However, the Federal Reserve, Fed, is planning to raise rates for the 11th time in 16 months this week. The effectiveness of these aggressive moves in controlling prices and the extent to which other factors contribute to the economy are open questions for the Fed. They are debating how much higher to raise rates and searching for signals that their policies are working. Adding to the challenges, the previous rate hikes have not had a predictable impact on the economy, meaning that further stimulus payments may be necessary. This week, the Social Security Administration is sending out the final batch of monthly payments. Millions of Americans can expect to receive their checks tomorrow. Top lawmakers, including Chuck Schumer, are also pushing forward with bills to improve the cost of living for retirees and seniors. For those who have not yet received a payment, it may arrive this week depending on their date of birth and the duration of their Social Security benefits. If you did not receive a July check, it could be due to a penalty for individuals with birthdays between the 21st and 31st of any given month. The average American aged 65 and above earns an annual pre-tax income of $55,000, while their yearly expenses amount to $52,000 or $4,300 per month. This income does not leave much room for unexpected expenses or emergencies. According to the Federal Reserve's analysis, the average retiree aged 65 to 69 has around $200,000 in retirement savings. However, many seniors may still need to work beyond retirement age due to healthcare expenses. On average, Retirees spend $7,000 annually on healthcare. One way to reduce costs when health issues arise is to consider affordable and accessible primary healthcare options. Housing costs represent the largest expense for retirees, accounting for 36% of their annual expenses. Experts suggest that downsizing could be a viable option for retirees looking to save money. As housing prices are expected to remain high, selling one's current home at a profit can provide additional funds for retirement, emergency savings, or debt repayment. However, it's important to consider the potential drawbacks, such as additional expenses associated with a new living arrangement. The current housing market has seen a rise in prices for replacement homes, at $6,500. Food prices now account for over 12% of the annual income for individuals aged 65 and older. However, one way to avoid overspending is through meal planning, which eliminates the need for frequent grocery shopping and dining out. Additionally, there is a concern that major prescription pricing legislation, aimed at capping the cost of insulin, may not be successful. This legislation holds great importance for Democrats, with Chuck Schumer expressing the hope of combining the insulin bill with reforms in the pharmacy manager industry. The goal is to create a comprehensive package that can garner bipartisan support and be voted on before the end of summer. In a press conference, Schumer emphasized the high priority of passing this bill. Lawmakers have recently begun addressing the issue and have started working on their version of the annual defense policy bill. The House has taken a more controversial and partisan approach. While the Senate intends to negotiate with the House by the end of the month, multiple committees in both chambers are currently discussing the situation, each with their own ideas for reforming pharmacy benefit managers and centers. Despite potential complications arising from overlapping subjects, there is confidence that there will be enough momentum when Congress returns from the August recess. Bipartisan action is being taken, with various committees proposing different measures. However, it remains to be seen if these measures will be approved. Additionally, there is a discussion surrounding the 14 must-check approved every 10 views for Social Security benefits. 
including SSDI and SSA. Before concluding, I would like to express my gratitude for your support and for watching this channel. As a token of appreciation, I am giving away a free $60 Amazon gift card. To redeem the code, simply enter it at checkout. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. In recent times, the economy has been greatly impacted by the cuts to SNAP benefits. As the Federal Reserve warns of an impending recession, state lawmakers are passing new bills to boost benefits by hundreds of thousands of dollars. Additionally, the expiration of extra SNAP payments during the crisis in March has left millions of people with smaller balances in their accounts. This reduction has led to a decrease of at least 95% in monthly benefit amounts. Americans are now grappling with a significant annual increase in food prices since the 1980s. Morgan Stanley's estimation of the reduction in consumer spending reveals a far-reaching impact that has rippled through the economy. This downturn has resulted in a staggering $4 billion economic slump in March. As consumers tighten their financial belts, the overall outlook appears bleak. Yahoo News reports that retail sales, which serve as a crucial barometer of consumer confidence and financial stability, have taken a significant hit. Adding to the economic strain is the expiration of SNAP benefits which is poised to further exacerbate the cautious spending behavior of consumers. This reduction in discretionary spending will likely prompt individuals to allocate a greater share of their wallets towards essential items, further dampening the economy. While brick-and-mortar stores have experienced a decline in sales across the board, online retail sales have managed to buck the trend with a modest 1.9% increase. Experts suggest that this uptick can be attributed to consumers actively seeking out discounts and deals to secure lower prices. In fact, even data from Bank of America indicates that Americans have recently curtailed their usage of credit and debit cards, signaling a slowdown in the economy. This deceleration could potentially be an early indicator of an impending recession, which would result in reduced disposable income for individuals and increased outflow of money from their wallets. It is worth noting that certain California households qualifying for SNAP benefits may also have access to state utility assistance subsidy benefits. This additional support initiated by the state SNAP agency CalFresh in 2014, aims to increase food benefits for eligible households. Furthermore, if these households also qualify for heating assistance under the Low-Income Home Energy Assistance Program, their SNAP benefits can be further augmented. Recognizing the importance of SNAP benefits, a bill has been introduced to expand and strengthen these benefits for more than 40 million Americans. The proposed legislation, known as the Closing the Meal Gap Connect Act, seeks to raise the baseline for SNAP benefits while also addressing eligibility limits and barriers. Financial experts have been cautioning consumers throughout 2022 to prepare for another recession. And unfortunately, their predictions seem to be materializing. One significant factor contributing to this economic downturn is the interest rate hikes implemented by Bank of America. Such rate increases have historically been associated with recessions. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.